we were selecting course topics, this was the very first one we came up with. And for good reason. I personally feel like styling your kitchen should probably be the first place you start if you're new to styling or even wanting to step up your styling game. Most people are very familiar with their kitchens. They're comfortable there and they're very aware of how the space has to function, in addition to being aesthetically pleasing. Your kitchen doesn't need to be newly renovated or anywhere near perfect to exude character and warmth and be inviting to you and the other people you share your home with, whether kids or adults, every day or while entertaining. I'm going to teach you how to style while creating moments within your kitchen. Every single room in your house should have one moment or a focal point, usually determined by the entry point of the space or the most popular vantage point. In the kitchen, we tend to spend extra time figuring out how to make your kitchen tick because it has to be so highly functional at all times. While you may hear me talk a lot about editing or getting rid of what doesn't work for you any longer, you need what will look like a lot of stuff. Styling like a designer requires a ton of pieces in different sizes and lots of layers. If you think you have enough, add five more things so you're not forced into using pieces that don't work or you don't really love. And you can feel free to interchange as you're creating a styled space. For your kitchen styling supply list, you will want to have plates in varying sizes and finishes, stemware also in different sizes and finishes, coffee and mugs for tea, cutting boards and bread boards, bottled water in glass or even green glass, utility items like knives, oil cruets, spoons, utensils, brushes, large servingware like oversized bowls and trays, vessels in various sizes for grouping wood spoons and greenery, decorative items like vintage art, prints, bookends, vases. You can use a cast iron skillet or a Dutch oven, rugs and runners, and of course, your fresh greens or dried stems. Welcome to my kitchen, you guys. I'm so excited to have you here and I can't wait to teach you all of the super easy skills to make your kitchen look styled just like mine. I know you cook in it, I know you eat, you probably do a little homework too, but I want you to have a really styled space so that you can always feel like it feels polished and is a great reflection of your personal iteration of organic desert living. So my kitchen's already styled, but we're gonna work backwards. So at your house, you're gonna wanna clear all of your kitchen counters off, you're gonna wanna remove everything and clean it so it's really, really fresh, and then we can start over gonna look like you have a lot of stuff, most likely. And that's okay, that's a good thing. Like I said, you'll need a variety of items. We want to signal anyone in your home that we're in a kitchen and we're here to cook, prepare, eat, and enjoy. The kitchen is the heart of the home and keeping it highly functional and organized is paramount while looking absolutely stunning, of course. When you're gathering materials, you'll be able to look at what you have on hand and then also use our supply list. I have some of the key pieces right on my countertop now, so let's quickly go through them so you can see what I've got. I love a really stylish knife, knife block. I want something that you can see the knives, that helps you feel like you're that awesome chef at home, but that is really visually pleasing. I always do plate stacks, and then I love a really textural bowl. You're gonna wanna have a lot of bowls, a lot of plates, a lot of those pieces that you actually use, we're gonna style with them, and you're gonna cook with them on an everyday basis. Vintage art. We've talked about this, and if we haven't, I'm here to tell you, vintage art is having such a moment, and you're gonna wanna incorporate pieces wherever you can. A kitchen is a great place because they, they're small and they go really nicely on your countertop. So start looking for some vintage art. I love a little um, craft of some kind, definitely cookbooks, tons of cookbooks, and I'm gonna tell you about editing your cookbooks so that they work for you. I also am back on the knives here. I couldn't possibly use all these knives in one day or even in one month, but we want them all out because they really add to the functionality of your kitchen and makes it feel really professional. I love a funky little stool or anything weird. It's a great conversation piece. Um, we've got cutting boards, tons of wood spoons. Again, in something weird and funky, it adds personality to your kitchen. More of the cutting boards, bread boards. I also like to hold my cutting boards or bread boards up with a Dutch oven. Something that feels weighted and heavy is gonna bring a lot of earthiness and age to your range area. Then we're gonna get into our spices and oils area or zone, which I'll tell you about shortly. This space is highly functional and it's gonna become your new best friend when you're cooking and styling. 
If you're having trouble selecting items to add for styling, the Lifestyle Co. Shop has items exclusively in our curated aesthetic, organic desert living. And you really can't make a wrong selection shopping with us because we've taken out all of the does that go questions when finding pieces. It all goes together, whether in your kitchen, your family room, or in bedrooms. I'm also providing you with a detailed buying list organized by price point from high to low and all of the items required to style your kitchen just like me. Adding vintage or thrifted items is also a cost-effective way to add instant character. Every single thing doesn't have to be new. In fact, it's better if everything isn't new. Look for items in these specialty stores that are weird or odd. Those items always bring so much weight into styled spaces. Some of my favorite pieces to find at vintage shops or thrift stores are pieces like white serving ware and plates, stoneware bowls, and glasses of all shapes and sizes. Also pitchers and occasionally baskets. Look for cookbooks at those thrift stores too. I read my cookbooks for recipes and plating techniques, but if that's not your thing, the subject matter isn't even applicable. Look strictly for aesthetic here. Books in good condition, neutral colors, and large sizes. Thrifting is also a great destination for those bar specific pieces like stemware, bar tools, and even bar books. We'll get into bar styling a little bit later. Next step, we're gonna clean and clear off our countertop so that we have a nice clean slate to work with. Set yourself up for success by placing all of the pieces you have to work with on your kitchen table or even a folding table close by. Even for a pro like me, it's challenging to be creative or to really take the space in when items are all over the place. You'll wanna keep the space clear that you're styling in your kitchen and identify where the main vantage point is. For me in my space, I'm always looking at my main vantage point as the view from the other side of my island into the space. As we know, kitchens are for cooking, sometimes homework, but usually cooking. Now, what you hide in your cabinets is up to you, but as a general rule of thumb, you only have so much countertop space. And unless you're one of the real lucky ones who has plenty, you only get a few moments to make your kitchen look like a million bucks. You don't want to waste those opportunities with mail, medicine, bags, purses, lunch boxes. You get it. You want to take each opportunity to elevate the space with thoughtful and functional styling. So figure out a place to tuck that stuff away, either in or outside of the kitchen areas that are visible. When I started thinking about how I was going to transition, one, my experience as a designer, and then two, my experience as a cook in my kitchen, I started thinking about actually the functionality of how I use my space first. Then I start, started thinking about the styling. And frankly, for me, I think because I am me and I do what I do and I, I live in this kitchen and I've styled it every different way you can imagine, they both really seamlessly worked. And that helped me to understand how I can teach you guys how to do that. From here, I'm going to break down the styling process into easy, digestible steps. 